Namaste to all the esteemed organizers, scholars, educators, and participants gathered for the Ninth International Conference on Human Values in Higher Education. I am honored to connect with all the distinguished guests at this year's conference centered around the theme, Holistic Value-Based Education for a Humane Society. At the permanent delegation of India to UNESCO in Paris, we work tirelessly to promote inter alia India's sustainable development through education, scientific collaboration, and cultural diversity. As we reflect on the concept of holistic value-based education, I am reminded of an idea deeply rooted in India's philosophical heritage, that education is more than the accumulation of knowledge and skills. It is a journey of self-realization, a way to foster wisdom, compassion, and an appreciation for interconnectedness towards Vishwa Bandhutva or Universal Brotherhood. True education in its essence shapes not just informed minds, but compassionate, empathetic individuals who are dedicated to the well-being of society and all life on earth. In the context of today's challenges, a value-based education is no longer optional but essential. Our world faces a multitude of crises. Climate change, social inequality and diminishing values. Education therefore must serve as a bridge guiding individuals to a deeper understanding of the importance of harmony and inclusivity. A holistic education nurtures this sensibility by promoting critical thinking emotional intelligence and universal values that transcend cultural and natural boundaries and promotes Vasudeva Kutumbakam or fraternity. When education is holistic, universal and rational, it fosters a way of living that is naturally aligned with harmony and well-being. It moves beyond the conventional boundaries of subjects and disciplines, encouraging students to see themselves not just as professionals, but as citizens of the world. A truly humane education inspires students to ask fundamental questions. What is the purpose of my knowledge? How can it serve not only myself, but also my community, my society and the planet? Our challenge today is to create educational frameworks that are not just academically rigorous, but also verifiable in the lived reality of human relationships and our connection to nature. This means embedding value-based education into every facet of learning. Students should be empowered to verify and rationalize values through their lived experiences, making these values not just ideas, but guiding principles in their lives. Under Prime Minister Narendra Modi's guidance, India has championed this vision through the National Education Policy 2020, which recognizes that holistic and value-based education is the foundation of nurturing responsible, resilient and reflective citizens. This policy emphasizes learning outcomes that include character development, ethical reasoning and a commitment to democratic values. In the same spirit, UNESCO's own Education 2030 Agenda highlights the need to equip learners with the knowledge and skills that are essential for inclusive and sustainable development. Do you know that India has more children of school going age than the population of the USA? India has 42,000 plus colleges, 1100 plus universities, 1 crore or 10 million teachers. Every year, 1.5 crores or 15 million children matriculate. India awards 82 lakhs or 8.2 million bachelor's and master's degrees and around 25,000 PhDs. It is the largest democratic educational ecosystem in the world. India is a Gyan Sagar or an educational and knowledge superpower. As we engage in this conference, 
let us recommit ourselves to the vision of education that fosters a truly humane society, one where individuals are not only knowledgeable, but also wise, not only skilled, but also compassionate. We must work together, educators, policymakers, and communities to make this vision a reality, for it is through a deeply embedded value system that we can achieve peace, equity, and well-being for all. Friends, from the language Sanskrit to Sanskriti or culture, from Sanskriti to Sanskar, cultural values, and from Sanskar to Sanskar Dham, where these values are taught, it is the educational system of India that connects them all. I wish you all an enriching and impactful conference. Thank you and Bharat Mata Ki Jai.